Hi, I'm Sandy, and welcome to Life with Sandy. Well, good morning, and it is good morning. It's very early. Um, today is Thursday, May 5th, and we do have a birthday. Today is Donna Adams' birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Donna. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you had a great birthday, Donna. Thank you for having such an easy name because now we are moving on to a difficult name and I'm going to pull over because I think I wrote it down the pronunciation, hopefully. Lori, you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming, Lori. K-A-R-A-N-A-T-Z-O-G-L-O-U. Now, last year she did tell me how to pronounce it and I thought I put it in my calendar, but I forgot. So, Lori, Kara Anazogala. Kara Anazogala. Lori, it's your birthday. <laughs> you knew I was going to mess up your name. You knew it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lori. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday. Um, at my opening, you saw I had a Band-Aid on my uh, chin. I... I have reached the stage where I'm past plucking and I make no apologies for it. I shave my chin. I have so much hair. It's just ridiculous. I, I would be all day every morning at least an hour plucking all those damn hairs. So I just use a little bit, which reminds me when I'm on my way to Kroger's, I got to get some more razors because it's dull and it, it chipped me out yesterday. So I had the band-aid on all day yesterday, and then I took it off last night, and it started bleeding again. So I thought, I'll put it back on. And I completely forgot it, you know, and I'm walking around, pretty as you please, with a band-aid on my face. Not even caring. I don't really care anyhow. Obviously, I don't care. I tell you, I shaved my, my chin, the hair was on my chinny chin chin. I was the, the uh, what do you call it, the inspiration for Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, my grandma. What a chinny chin chin. What a, how much hair you have on your chinny chin chin or something. Isn't it from that? I know. So, oh, what big eyes you have. Oh, what big teeth you have. But so, oh, that. A bird just attacked my windshield. I had to get that cleared off before it got dry. It's like, oh, the, the knife. The knife of them. But anyway. So that's why at the beginning of my video I had a band-aid. It's not like I had a cancer removed or anything. Why, why is that on? Yeah. Um, so anyway, I didn't think I'd have to do a grocery haul this week, but I went in there to make see what I was going to make for breakfast, and I don't have any berries. None. None whatsoever. Not one. Not a single berry had to be found. And then I was looking at my spinach, and it's kind of wilted, so I need to get some spinach. And I had the last of the salad the other day. When, the, when we had our family dinner, I made a salad. So, I gotta get some of that. And then Jim needed some lunch meat for his lunches. And razors, so I don't cut myself again. Because I literally did cut myself shaving. And then, uh, I think I gotta get some soap. But anyway, um, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of my bathroom renovation. Because I really would like your opinion. Uh, we have the stool, the shower bench, or whatever you want to call it, done that matches the tile on the on the walls. And we just had our sink counter put in, and they had told me that they think I have a big enough piece left that I can put it on top of the bench, just on top of the bench on the seat part of it. So it would kind of tie in the two. I'm going to have a glass shower doors 
that you can see right through so you'll be able to see it but uh, I, I have, I'm undecided I don't know what I should do because part of me wants to leave it like it is because I really like it but then there's all those little grout lines that I got to worry about cleaning all the time whereas if I put this it's one flat sheet and it's just one quick little wipe down but I'd like your opinion let me know which one would you choose keep it the same or put a match part of the piece from the countertop on the bench so here's a little clip let me know okay I'll give you a sneak peek at the counter and I'd like your opinion this is the countertop we have and that's the bench so far should I leave the bench like that where then I have to worry about cleaning all the grout, you know, all in between the grout? Or should I get a piece of this made and put in the shower? I'd like your opinion. I know, it's a hard decision, isn't it? I can't decide. I really can't decide. I think it'll all come down to the cost, is, is what it is. Because uh, the countertop we paid $9.50 for the vanity and the sink. That didn't include the faucet. We had to buy the faucet ourselves. But, uh, and that's not granite. What's about granite? Not granite and it's not marble. <sighs> I know what it is, but I can't think of it. Anyway, I'll put it right here what it is. I can't remember what it is. I know it's not granite and I know it's not marble. And I know it's not from Micah. But... Once again, another word that's escaping me, that's driving me crazy. It comes with age. I understand that. And if this is the least of my worries when I'm getting older, that I forget a few words, I'm fine with that. Well, not really completely fine with it, but, you know, I can live with it, I guess, is the better way of putting it. But, uh, no, I almost had it. I thought it was, no, it's not great. <sighs> See, I tell you it doesn't bother me, but it does. It bothers me that I can't think of what it's called. But, uh, anyway... So anyway, we had to come to Kroger's here so I can get a few things. And, oh my gosh, I must be in the front row. Parking next to somebody from New York. Marble, marble, it's marble. Oh, I slammed my brakes on. Marble. Is it marble? Quartz, quartz. <laughs> I thought of it. It's quartz. It's quartz. It goes granite quartz. See, it takes a minute sometimes. It's got to rattle around in this brain of mine. Well, what I call a brain. And figure out what it's going to be. But, uh, anyway. And I did remember to call for my biopsy appointment. But I have to go to a... The good news, bad news. The good news is that it's close to... No, the bad news is... Let's start with the bad news. The bad news is it's a lot farther than my comfort zone. So Jim's got to bring me and he's going to have to wait. Because it's like 45 minutes away. Because I have to go to a hospital to do it. Not to the mini hospital that's by me but the good news is it's by a Trader Joe's and I need to go to Trader Joe's and so I'm going to plan on doing the biopsy and then after the biopsy hit Trader Joe's get my stuff for that so and then I got results for my mammogram my right breast is fine my left breast it didn't get a good reading so I might have to go back and do it again which annoys the hell out of me because I even told her when she was doing it I felt like it didn't feel right when she did it and she looked at it and she says no it feels right because it seemed like it's I don't know I can't describe it I just didn't feel like she got a good picture of it I just didn't feel like the way I was standing or something I don't know but and I told her and she says no I look at it it looks fine and so then when I get my results because I have that my Beaumont chart where I can look at my results uh, I'm not really overly concerned about it because um, I, I'm not having any issues that I know of but I'll probably I think they're going to compare it to my other ones because I went to a different facility. Uh, I used to go to Ascension, but now I'm going to Beaumont, and I guess the Ascension didn't send the records over fast enough, or they didn't have the records, or something. I don't know. So I will keep you abreast. <laughs> I will keep you abreast of the situation. So <clears throat> okay, let's get in here. Stop babbling, Sandy. You're like a babbling fool. Well, I spent way more than I wanted to. But they had some good sales going on, so I had to pick up some things that were on sale. And then I almost forgot my razors. That's like a must-have. So I had to go back and get those. So I got some extra steps in. But this is really early for me. I just 
I just can't believe how early it is. It. Uh, I got up at 8.30 this morning because they were supposed to come between 9 and 11. And we all know when they tell you 9 and 11, they mean 11. But I still got up so that I could be ready by 9 o'clock. And since I was up, because I usually don't get out of the bed until probably 10.30 or so. Um, so I got up and uh, got out of bed, dragged a comb across my head. And then I thought, I'm going to go for my walk. So I left the house about a minute or two after 9 o'clock. And Jim said that I had just left when they pulled up at 9 o'clock. So when I got back from my walk, about quarter to 10, they were in the process of doing it. And so I took a sneak peek in the back of the truck to see how far they were getting. And um, not knowing that they had been there for 45 minutes already, the original piece that we had picked of granite, not quartz, um, was... Uh, in the back of the truck and I thought oh she cut the wrong stone I, I, we decided against that one because it was a little too busy so I thought, oh, I'm going to go in the house and so Jim says look they're almost done they got here just after you left you, I'm surprised you didn't see them and I went in there and it was the one we picked out and I do like it it just brightens up the room so much more well that for Micah counter was and then I didn't tell you that when Jimmy was taking the other sink out our vanity cabinet wasn't even, even attached to the wall Oh my gosh, they really slapped my house together because we're finding all this out. Because when we were getting the flooring, there was a problem with the flooring too. We had to get an extra subfloor. So, because when we put the hardwood floors in, they couldn't put it on the subfloor that was there because it was a crappy subfloor. So we had to put all new subfloors in the whole house before we could put the hardwood floors down. It's always something. And then when we had to replace the dishwasher, we had to build up the floor because for some reason they had like a big open gap space. So we had to build up the floor underneath. So they slapped my house together. They really did. But anyway, so where was I going with this? Oh, so anyway, by the time I got home and I was sitting in the chair, it was like quarter after 10. And Jim says, look at how much you've accomplished just by getting your big old butt out of the bed. He didn't say big old butt. He said, just by getting your butt out of the bed <laughs> early. I go, yeah, you really got a lot accomplished. But the problem is when I went shopping here, was I was hungry. That's not a good combination when you're hungry to go shopping. But, you know. So, I called Joan because she's more Whole Foods person. They had a sale on some imported feta cheese from Bulgaria that was made with sheep's milk. I was trying to think of it was a little more healthy, but it was 20 more calories and one extra point. And since I've never had it before, I thought, eh. So we both decided to stick with the Athenos, A-T-H-E-N-O-S, which is what I always buy anyhow. So I got that. And then, uh, other than that, tonight, I'm going to end my video earlier today. I'll show you what I'm going to have for breakfast. Uh, for lunch, I've already decided I'm going to have a grilled piece of chicken, because I found out that they have grilled chicken. It does have a side of spaghetti with it. But it's, it's uh, smothered and I know it's got like a lemon sauce, which I know the sauce is what's going to get me with the points. But a lemon sauce with uh, garlic and artichokes and mushrooms. Well, you had me at mushrooms. And then artichokes is a close second. I love artichokes, but I don't know how to make them. I've tried buying them in the jars. It's just not the same. It's just not even close. I can't even say close, similar, not the same because they're just not the same. So whenever I go to a restaurant, if they have artichokes on the menu, I always order artichokes. I always remember when I was working at the uh, Polo's Market back, back in the 60s. and uh, Mostly Italian women bought it. Because it was mostly Italian. We, we lived, uh, no, we lived. The market was in an Italian neighborhood, so it was mostly Italian ladies that came in to buy their stuff. And uh, there was, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they always bought they always bought all the artichokes. They bought tons of artichokes. But the only thing I hate about them is if you didn't grab them just right, you pricked your finger and it hurt. So you had to really watch them. But we had one little Italian lady that came in. She was the sweetest, sweetest lady. So sweet, so sweet. But I don't know if she was scamming me or if she was just really poor. I don't know. But she always had such, she always wore the same clothes always looked really poor really 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 poor 
and uh, she um, <clears throat> would call, she would uh, open up her little change purse because she always had her money in her change purse. And the change purse looked like she got it when she, at her first communion. She was like 90. It looked like she got it at her first communion. And uh, so she would open up her thing and she would like, you know, like she bought the dented cans and she bought like the, the loose grapes, you know, like the when the people like would only pick so many grapes and there'd be loose grapes. We always sold the loose grapes cheaper. She'd buy the loose grapes. Um, she'd buy like the bruised fruit all of the time. But I'd always see her walking around and putting stuff in her purse. Like well, you could buy like a, you could buy sticks of butter back then. You didn't have to buy the whole pound. And I would see her open up the butter and put like a stick of butter in her purse. Or uh, she would pick like a canned good and put it in her purse. I knew she was stealing. And I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll probably go to hell for doing this. But I only rang up every other item on her order. <laughs> I just, I just really felt that she wasn't scamming me. And if she was, she did a good job. She should win an Academy Award. But uh, I, I just felt that there were so many people buying the top of the line foods and stuff like that and, and maybe 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 I don't know I'll, I'll look for her in heaven say did you scam me <laughs> but I, I just feel better that uh, I did that because I just think that we had so many people that would like well we got we have a dozen oranges and then you'd count them and there'd be 17 I'm thinking uh, okay I could see if you thought that you had a dozen and a half or if you had a dozen and you maybe had 13 maybe 14 but 17 and telling me you have a dozen uh, I don't know we, we got a lot of those scam artists. Th those were obvious scam artists, I guess. But but anyway, tonight, we're, like I said, we're going out. Jess, Jamie, Samantha's daughter, is graduating from nursing school. So we're going out to dinner tonight um, to celebrate her achievement. So um, I'm going to show you my breakfast, and then I might close it out after that. I don't know. I have to decide. Jim and I have a little bit of running to do. I might take you with us. It's a long video right now as it is, but we'll see how it goes. So... Okay, now i got to lug all these in because Jim is not home. I poured, I planned poorly. I chose poorly, as they said in Indiana Jones in the last crusade. Because now i got to lug all this stuff in myself. Okay, I'm going to have some egg and some berries. I know I've been kind of avoiding them, but I want to have some today. So it's two points for my English muffin and one point for my laughing cow cheese. So that's three and four points for an ounce of cheese. So it's a seven-point breakfast with my cup of tea. Uh, one of my subscribers had asked about this Fridge Smart uh, Rubbermaid Fridge Smart container. Uh, I swear by them. My vegetables stay way, 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 way longer. My berries, if I put a little piece of uh, paper towel underneath that little green calendar and put them in there unwashed, they'll last up to 10 days. Okay, we're on our way to the plumbing supply store. Right, Jim? Exactly. Any words of wisdom? Mm, not today. Well, he's been full of too much wisdom lately, has he? Oh, well, let's get going. Well, we've been to two plumbing supply houses, and neither one has what we're looking for. The part was put in in 1998. Yet another part, hard to find. So now we're going to go in our old neighborhood to a place that we used to, that we know where it's at, that supposedly might have it. So let's go check it out. Well, we went to three different plumbing places, not close to each other either. We probably spent another two hours looking and didn't come up with anything, only to find out that there's one that's not that far from our house that they think will carry it because it's the Kohler brand, and that's the plumbing device. you got to stick with Kohler. Um, and every single one of the shops told us the exact same thing, so I don't think it was a scam. But... I'm getting ready now to get uh, going for um, Jamie's graduation. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.